All right, guys, I've got something extra special for you. This is going to answer a lot of your questions about hydroponics. And it's a cool little channel that I found. And I want to show it to you because a lot of things that you guys have asked me, I don't actually do. Remember, over here on this channel, we're trying to keep it cheap and easy. I don't use meters. And, and we just try to do things that, that everyone out there can do, right? And a lot of people ask me a lot of questions. And I want to show you this is a young couple and he's doing a little hydroponics their channel is not about hydroponics but he's done a couple of videos so look at some of these pictures he's got like right here swiss shard looks awesome look how big it is it's just it's huge right and if you go on over to the channel and check it out he's growing melons you guys a lot of you out there have asked me i don't grow melons on our hydroponics um he's got some melons peppers this is his wife like I said you know a young little couple uh, doing hydroponics it's really cool stuff more peppers scallions this is indoors a lot of you have asked me you know can we do this indoors because I'm in Florida you see most of my stuff outdoors 95 percent of my stuff I'm doing it, it's outdoors and a lot of you live where I mean it just snowed like last week in some places um, in uh, Canada you know it's still cold up there and you ask if you can do it indoors and you can see he's got a setup here so you can just go on over there and check it out strawberries i get so many people asking me about strawberries and uh, i'm testing one right now i've tried it before but look at these strawberries he's going to look at the size of the plants and that and look at the the roots on this thing it's it's massive there's strawberries he's even tried root vegetables you guys have constantly asked me about root vegetables potatoes, carrots, beets, turnips, and everything. And I don't grow too much. I grow like beets for the greens. Um, I grew some turnips in that, but he did a little experiment with potatoes. Didn't turn out really good in that, but you can at least go over there and see, you know, what he did. It's just a little short video, one minute. Might answer a lot of questions. He's grown loofahs inside his house. So I, I think that's pretty cool. And this is inside of a grow tent in his house. And like that tree is actually a basil plant. Um, it, it's just huge. Uh, he's got some, what are they called, carnivorous plants, the, the Venus flytraps and that. Uh, it's not hydroponics, but I thought that was just pretty cool. I want to show you too. But what I really like is like this right here, like these big ones. And I get this question like I almost daily and several times a day is how often do you change out the reservoir? And I've asked that before, answered that before, and, and my answer is rarely. You know, if, if I could just say never, I would say never, but I have done it once or twice. I think I've done a video like four or five years ago, but rarely do I ever change it out. It's uh, mainly that it just stays. I maintain a level. My downspouts between half and three quarters. The new buckets that we put, the, the tower gardens, I'm maintaining the level at, you know, the, the highest level. When I first put it in, I'm just maintaining that level. And he's done the same thing. He says that he doesn't change his out. And these plants that are here, I think the one on the right is two years old. And the basil plant, I think he said was three years old or something like that. Just check out that video. He's He's got one video. And it's only about 12 minutes long. But he like explains all of this stuff. But he doesn't change it out either. So he's like one of the first ones that does hydroponics that's like me where we say you know we don't we don't change it out we just you know keep topping it off and that makes it easy right who wants to change out the the nutrients every every two weeks or every month or whatever uh he does it with the traditional uh hydroton rock wool with the the big net pot on the top but i think if you watch and see all the stuff that he's doing that you can kind of adapt it to our pool noodle method or the garden tower you can kind of do what he's doing and, and just kind of uh, finagle it around a little bit uh, this is how he waters his plants is just gravity fed he's got his nutrients mixed up five gallon bucket and that's what I mix mine in five everybody you know asks about if you you can make like one gallon at a time but I've got so many plants I always do five gallons and if you end up you know refilling this a couple times if you if you don't fit, use it all you know this is a dark bucket you can cover it up and it's just got a hose on it he sets it up on a stool and you can check the water level it's got these little tubes uh, this little system you know we could make one if we want but you don't really need this you can look inside but this just makes it easy because that tube serves another purpose you can also hook up aeration to it 
So lots of cool stuff. Like I said, just go watch uh, meters. He uses meters. He explains that in the little video, what he does. And you guys also ask while you add nutrients, you know, as the plants use the nutrients, do you add more water or do you add nutrients in that? And he kind of explains what he does on there. He shows what nutrients he's using. And he talks about lights a little bit, the lights that he uses. And he even uses a light meter, which I don't use. It's another meter that I don't use, but it's kind of interesting to kind of, you know, see that kind of stuff. Now, the channel is called Ditch the Flock. All right. Now, once you guys go over there, check it out. Don't mention me. Don't say, you know, keep on growing. Send me your mic. I want this to be a surprise. Uh, most YouTubers are like, oh, go to that channel and tell them Mike sent you or whatever. I don't want them to know. I just want you guys to go over. They're a young couple. You can see that their channel's not about hydroponics. He's got one video. It's about 12 minutes long. Um, and they got a bunch of other stuff on there. And started doing the hydroponics. And I'm, it's really cool. You can see all the stuff that he's done, right? I want them to do more. I want them to keep experimenting. This is like a young couple. This excites me that even after I'm like dead and gone, they're still going to be around another 30 or 40 years, right? So this is like the next generation learning, experimenting, and now sharing it with other people. So I want them to do more and get excited about it. So like I said, don't mention my name. Just go over, have fun. If you like something, what you want to do is watch that one video. And then up here where it says shorts, click on shorts, and you go to this page, right? And you'll see that he's been uploading more hydroponic videos. I think they're on TikTok or Instagram. And then been putting the videos over here. So he's got more than that one video. And all of these are only one minute long. It's not going to take you that long to watch them. But you can see all of this stuff. If you like strawberries and you want to see more, tell them I want to see more strawberries. Uh, the top one up there he's got is uh, cauliflower. Lots of people have asked me about cauliflower. i never grown it or even tried to grow it. Uh, you can see the potatoes there. Just whatever he's doing. If you don't see tomatoes, say, hey, do you grow tomatoes? You know, could you grow some tomatoes? So go over there. Ask them lots of questions. Tell them what you like. Tell them you want to see some more. And like I said, don't don't mention me. Just have some fun. This is just all of us. It, it, it's not about us all just liking and subscribing and everything. It, this is about us sharing information and helping each other out. So this is just another place that you can get useful information. And like I said, if they keep experimenting and keep sharing, you guys can keep learning. And that's what it's all about, right? All right. We'll catch you guys later. Lift, inspire, keep on growing, and be the change. It's Ditch the Flock. We'll catch you later.